cryptocurrency for photographers? That's right. We're here at the Kodak booth and we're about to talk to some of the executive team about Kodak Coin, a brand new digital currency that's not just going to be big in the crypto space, but that's also helping with copyright and digital rights management. Coming up. This video is brought to you by TubeInfluence.com, a one-hour online masterclass on how to grow a highly influential and profitable YouTube channel this year. On this free training, you'll learn the proven strategies and current best practices for growing your subscribers and creating passive income with YouTube. To register for free, just go to TubeInfluence.com. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And we're here at CES at the Kodak booth talking really about Kodak coin and cryptocurrency for photographers. And I'm here with... Steven Overman, I'm the Chief Marketing Officer of Kodak. And... Jan Denica, I'm the CEO of Venn Digital. Awesome. And we're talking all about kind of this really buzzy topic that's been happening here at CES about digital rights management, Kodak coin, and things like that. So, Steve, Stephen, what's happening with this stuff? So, for about 130 years, Kodak has been committed, uh, Sean, to empowering artists and creative people, and especially photographers, to, um, to create their work and share their images with the world. And so, what we announced yesterday that's really exciting is the application of an incredibly disruptive and innovative technology called blockchain, which I'm sure you and your listeners have heard of, um, and a cryptocurrency as part of the solution. And this is being created by our partners at WEN Digital. And it is simply the latest expression of Kodak's mission to empower photographers and creative people. Now, I love that. And one of the big challenges that photographers have is digital rights and copyright. Like, how is this going to be helping with that? Yeah, the problem photographers have is... Uh, Basically, um, it's always difficult to know where licenses are going in the digital world and uh, to know how, who, how much they're going to be paid out and how the royalty is going to fall back to the photographer. So we created a system where you can upload your photos in our portal and then it's going to be saved or you basically document the whole lifetime circle of a photo in the blockchain. Uh, and underneath there lies a payment system where you can pay the license in, in Kodak coins and be paid out as well. Uh, the license to the photographers. Understood. And this actually can be a huge problem that can even take out photographers' businesses, right? If they aren't able to uh, have kind of control. So this is sort of to solve that, right? Well, I think one of the interesting things about the proliferation of photography that, that um, uh, digital image making has kind of empowered the world with is that on one hand, you have um, the emergence of what we call the image economy. So there are more images and photographs being taken, created, uploaded, edited, shared than ever before. So arguably, Arguably, there is more uh, value to image making because there's simply more of it and we use it in, in so many different ways today. But somebody's being left out of that value creation and it's the creator of the image her or himself. Because once that image is shared so freely, they lose control. Now, sometimes there is a photographer or an artist or a creative person who doesn't care. Right? They, they, they create something and they put it out into the world and that is their choice. But what When Digital's solution uh, is providing is the choice for the artist to actually take back control of that image, take back some of their own creative power and to be able to kind of securitize it and monetize it. And as I said before, that is a perfect fit with Kodak's mission to empower artists and creators everywhere with that choice. I love that. And one of the uh, aspects about this is that even though Kodak is leading this charge, this would be available for photographers using really any brand. Is that true of, uh, of camera? Yeah, yeah, definitely that's true. Um, I mean, the Kodak coin uh, is supposed to become the, the, um, the currency for, the, for photographers and the whole image industry. And uh, on the platform, we're going uh, to develop a marketplace where you can buy uh, image-related products and services like book a model or buy lenses or cameras in a, with a certain kind of discount if you're using obviously, obviously the Kodak coin. So, but we don't want to close ourselves out from the other uh, uh, coins that will coming, hopefully like Airbnb coin, Amazon coin and uh, lots more. So you can trade in or change like fiat to coin and back and forth. Understood. So the big question I'm sure people are wondering too is what is kind of the timeline of this and how do people get involved? I'm going to let you answer. Um, the timeline is right now we have, we have services up and running already. So um, 
we are uh, we are we're going to have a closed beta phase for agencies by the end of 2018, and the start of uh, the platform will be then launched uh, uh, beginning of 2019. So. Excellent, excellent. Any final thoughts, kind of just to sum it up uh, when it comes to Kodak Coin? Well, I think there's there's a really interesting symmetry to this announcement because this is Kodak's 130th anniversary. And Kodak One, which is the brand name for the registry itself, where photographers can register their images, was also the name of the first Kodak uh, roll film camera. So it was one of Kodak's first major innovations that democratized, so, uh, democratized photography. And so 130 years later, to announce yet another really leading edge innovation in the service of creativity is something we're just so proud to be able to uh, bring to the world. That's very exciting. And of course, as usual, we'll link up information to Kodak Coin and various aspects of this conversation articles in the YouTube description below. So definitely check that out. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy CES. Question of the day. Have you already started investing in cryptocurrency, doing anything with crypto? And what do you think about Kodak Coin? I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below and definitely join the conversation with the rest of the Think Media community. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe for more videos just like this. And for other videos in our coverage of CES, just click or tap the screen right there. For another video from Think Media, just click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, Think Media is bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it, and we will talk soon.